Dear son, we're going to be doing something a little bit different today. Instead of me telling you something that might or might not be true, we'll be testing my ability to recognize the truth where it lies. In case you weren't paying attention Christmas morning, we all got calendars. Mine says, fact or crap, it's your call. Every day, every weekday is a different statement which might be true or might be false. You have to determine if it is true or false. I'm going to be doing that at the weekends. I'm going to be making this video. We're going to see how well I do over the week. <sighs> McDonald's sells beer with its Big Macs in Austria, Germany, and the Netherlands. That's a fact. You can buy alcohol everywhere in Europe, even in Euro Disney, I believe. Oh, yes. Now that's a happy meal. There's the little graph I get every weekend. So we're going to be making these every weekend until either I die or we've run out of weekends. Italy is home to the world's tallest waterfall located in the Italian Alps on the border of Sheriff with Austria. That's a, That's crap. Uh, I believe the tallest waterfall in the world is in South America. If I'm wrong, it's definitely not in Italy. Oh yes, crap. It's not water, but fiery hot lava that makes Italy famous. No, it's not. It's food. Food makes Italy famous. A blind mechanical engineer invented the first cruise control device in 1945. That's got to be a fact. That's just awesome. Oh yes, Ralph Teeter. Thank you. Blind since the age of five. Hmm, I always thought he went blind later on in life, but that's all right. Uh, let you read that. It's lots of stuff. And an English TV network is producing a situation comedy about the great Irish famine in the 1800s, which killed one million people in Ireland and forced another one million to flee the country. English television, situation, comedy, really bizarre? Yes. Fact. The English television that I've seen has led me to believe that they are capable of anything. Fact. Producers admit it's a difficult subject to do. Yeah. The myth that all Scots are thrifty or miserly is like all myths. Somewhat true. Even today, Scots give less money to charitable causes than the English, Welsh, or Irish people. I have some difficulty with this one because I don't want to offend any Scots because they are so awesome, but I'm going to say that's a fact. No! Scots are more charitable than the English, Welsh, and Irish people. Don't accuse the Scotsman of being stingy and never ever call his kilt a skirt. I'm sad. Sorry, Scotland. That was my fault. It is against the law in Russia to drive a dirty car. That's a fact. That's what happens when you get communists. They make impossible laws that are impossible to enforce. Fact. Definition of dirty. All right. How did I do? I got five out of six. That's 87% in my head. Feel free to write something downstairs if you had better or more interesting answers than me. Or if you just want to condemn me for my mistake with Scotland. Scotland, you're awesome and I love you. Moving on. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share. This has been our first episode of The Truth Where It Lies. We're going to keep doing them every weekend. That's all for today.